I recognize at this time the gentleman from New York, Mr. Engel, for five minutes. Thank you uh, very, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. You know, um, last week uh, I moved my office. We hadn't moved in ten years, and so we were throwing out all kinds of things. And there was this huge chart, which said um, the world according to oil, and it um, either shrank or increased the um, map of, of different countries based on the powerhouse of oil. And it's interesting because that was probably about 15 to 20 years old. The United States was very, very tiny. Saudi Arabia, Venezuela were very, very big. And I couldn't help but thinking that if we did that map today, how, how different it would be. And I think that's a good thing. Um, Mr. Uh, McNerney um, asked about the, the geopolitical uh, impact of it. Uh, and as the ranking member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, uh, which I am, I care very much about geopolitical aspects of it. Um, I, um, I, I like the idea of countering Mr. Putin. Um, European countries are reluctant to stand up to him because they need his oil. If they could buy our oil, um, they might actually develop a backbone. So I, I have uh, looked at uh, this in a, in a totally uh, different approach than I looked at before. But everything, of course, is still is a balancing act. I care about the environment. Um, I, we we want to make sure uh, that we can continue to, to uh, export and increase the export. And I think it's a, um, it's a balance. So um, I want to say, Dr. Ebinger, I, I, I read uh, findings of the report which finds that lifting the ban um, on crude oil would boost U.S. economic growth and, and put downward pressure on, on world oil prices. And um, Larry Summers also called for lifting the ban. Let me just ask a few questions, anyone who would care to answer. Um, Department of Commerce has granted licenses during the past year to a few oil companies to export uh, relatively small amounts of uh, an ultralight crude, as Mr. Green mentioned, as condensate. Um, I believe the condensate comes from shale plays. So please correct me if I'm wrong. And so therefore, increased uh, production of condensate would mean more fracking, would it not? It would? Yes. It would. Okay. Um, among the companies exporting condensate are Pioneer Natural Resources and Enterprise Products Partners. Which shale plays are they getting their condensate from? Do we know? The Eagle Ford Eagle? in Texas. Okay. And where did it go? Are there existing refineries in friendly parts of the world that would take and refine this additional crude? Um, I think I can answer. I think uh, most of the shipments went into the Far East, probably Korea, maybe the Singapore market. I, I don't actually have the, you know, the, the Department of Commerce has a much different uh, policy towards handling data than EIA, and, they, and this is considered proprietary information, so I, I don't think uh -huh. it's been publicly available yet. Well, no, as, as I mentioned help. before, I, yes, I'm sorry. I could just add, it's petrochemical feedstock, the condensates largely, so it's going to a different type. It's not going to refining. It's going to making petrochemicals. So the Far East makes sense. Okay, thank you. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm asking these questions because obviously in addition to economics, there are environmental considerations and geopolitical factors that merit consideration, and I really think the whole thing thinking is a balance, but, uh, but I do think that this is something that we should look at very uh, seriously. Um, it makes uh, sense to me, uh, again, because I think the United States, obviously being a world power, um, has to be concerned with geo, the geopolitics of it. And I know that when we are, are trying to get some of our allies in Europe, Germany and some of our other countries, to um, um, stand up to, to uh, Putin and his aggression, on, to Ukraine, um, there was some reluctance there because they rely on, on Russia for, for their uh, energy resources. And uh, I, I can't help but thinking if they relied on us or if we were available, um, we, we, could, um, we, we, we could exert more, more pressure. And I think that would be an, an important uh, policy goal of the United States. But again, I, I think it has to be balanced with environmental concerns and uh, uh, other concerns as well. But. Thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Gentleman yields back. 